I am back with another project because I saw this at, saw these at Target. You know Target's little dollar spot that they have? If you go to Target, if, I think everyone has Target. They had these little houses. I believe they were either three or $5. I don't remember. They had a little package in them, but they're super cute. They're just little chunks of wood with this little metal chimney pipe thing. And I thought these were super cute, but I know that everybody loves like the neutral stuff, but I don't, I love colors and uh, you know, just not boring this so here's what i'm gonna do i am going to make these cuter but i'm also going to make them reversible so two holidays that are super close or seasons like in winter i mean oh, oh boy oh boy oh, i don't know what i'm trying to say to be honest one side is going to be fall themed the other side is going to be winter themed so this is what we're gonna do. I have a ton of paper. You can buy paper um, by the sheet. They're usually, I cut off this one, but they're usually a square size this big. You can buy them at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's. You can buy just pieces of paper um, or you can buy like the big, um, big booklet things of paper. Like it's a bunch of paper in one. Um, that's what I do and I usually buy like the seasonal one so that I have stuff for every season. So I have, I picked out this one and this one and this one and those are going to be my fall side and my Christmas side is going to be these. We've got this little whatever this says, um, let it snow, happy holidays, better not pout, do not open till December 25th so it's Christmas themed with this little plaid and this little green. They're little trees. I don't know if you can see that. So those will be on one side. So we have paper. Let me get this. We have our paper, a pencil, scissors, Mod Podge. This is Mod Podge. This is just the mat. Um, they have all different kinds of Mod Podge. They have um, like shiny Mod Podge. They have glittery Mod Podge. They have paper Mod Podge all different kinds. I just buy the Mod Podge mat. I don't think it's just, I don't know if it says it's for pretty much everything. Paper, fabric, I don't know, but I use it on paper and wood. So Mod Podge, a paintbrush to brush on Mod Podge. And this is something that I use because I distress distress the sides of it. This is just a little detail sander. Um, who, who makes this? I think it's like a called Gator brand, um, but it's just a little detail sander. It has little strips, the little strips come off. And I use, once I put the paper on, I just go like this on the edges because it gives it kind of a distressed look. So I have that. And also you're going to need something wet. So this could be a spray bottle. It could be um, a damp towel. It could be a baby wipe. Just something that can get your paper damp, like slightly damp, okay? Let me grab my wipe because I, I forgot that. I'm just gonna use baby wipes. So, get this towel in case I need it. So first thing we're gonna do, um, I believe this is the one I want on here. We'll do plaid and this one here. So we're just gonna take our pencil. Well, first I'm gonna line it up where I want it. And I want this little piece of paper. It says, hello fall right there. And it's going to be in the middle of this. Just trace it, trace your little whatever you're putting paper onto, like this. Okay, so there's one. Um, I'm just gonna write on the bottom, hello fall. Probably not necessary because they're all different sizes and they're only gonna fit on one certain block, but I just like to keep track. <laughs> so that one, I have it traced on there. Let's do the other two. OK, 
Okay, so we've got these cut out. Look like this, okay? So here's where the wipe is going to come in. When you are putting paper onto Mod Podge, sometimes it can get little bubbles and like just kind of wrinkles under it, creases under it, um, which nobody wants that. So here's where the trick comes in. You're gonna get your something wet, whatever it is, and you're gonna go, this is the side I want, so we're gonna go to the back side, and you're just going to get that back side wet, damp, okay? Not soaking wet, not dripping, just damp to where it kind of gives it a little curl. See how it's curling a little bit? Okay, and then you're gonna open your Mod Podge, get your paintbrush, dip it in there and just paint it onto your wood block or whatever you're Mod Podging onto. Okay, just put a nice coat of it on there. Okay, like that. Take your paper and then just put it on. Just get it all lined up. And if it's if it's a little too long and it's overlapping, don't worry because that we're gonna sand that off. So just make sure that it is making contact with the wood, your paper is making contact with the glue or the Mod Podge and the wood block. And just smooth it out. So here's the first one. Okay. And I'm just gonna turn it upside down and set it down on my counter so it doesn't lift up anywhere. On to the next. If you guys ever hear like kids screaming or crying, probably not crying, but screaming, uh, like at each other, fighting, it's my kids. They're little monsters. When they play video games, they like get, they get into it, like real into it. Okay. That was my little disclaimer. <laughs> so next thing we're going to do is the Christmas side. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is put another layer of Mod Podge over the top. And then we're gonna let that dry and then I'll come back and then we'll do the sanding part. So. Let's put our layer of Mod Podge on first. And you're just gonna put it completely over the top of the paper. Feels like a little thing. Okay, so we completely coated and it kind of gives it like a whitish film look over it, but it will dry clear. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over and do the same. Good thing I got a wipe. Okay, so I have coated um, both sides of each block with a layer of Mod Podge on the pa on, you know, you know what I'm talking about, on the outside. So I'm gonna let these dry and then we will come back when they are dry. Use our little sander. If you don't have a little detail sander, you could just use, a, honestly, you could, if you just had a little piece of sandpaper like this, you could just sand it like that. So you don't need this whole fancy thing because quite honestly, this was expensive. It was like almost 20 bucks for this little thing which is stupid. So if you just have a little piece of sandpaper, perfect. Shoot, if you got a nail file for your nails, you could use that too. So we will be back when these are dry. All righty, I'm back. Let's finish this up. So I got my little 
sander. And I'm just going to reposition myself here. So this is what we're dealing with. They're a little tacky still, but that's okay. Do you see how this just barely overlaps? That's going to be gone. Okay. That's what we're going to be working with. You're going to make them a little bit of a mess right here. Sometimes I'll sand over like my sink or my garbage can, but for today, I'm just going to sand on my counter. So you're just going to hold your block and you're just going to add an angle. Let me turn. You're just going to go like this. I'm hitting that little metal thing. And when you start sanding it, it's gonna start, you see right here, see how it's like starting to fry off? Just keep going. So soon you're gonna get a nice edge, okay? So just keep going until it looks the way you want it to look. And then go on the other sides. Okay, so when you are done, when you're done, you're just gonna have these nice little edges. Get that off. And see how it's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, see how it's kind of like a little tiny distressed on the corners? You can see the wood underneath. That's how I want it. So let's do the other side. Okay, so we got all of them sanded. I will hold these up so you can see them. Here's the fall side. And then we turn them around. I like it this way. Turn it around for our Christmas side. And it is flawless because you got the paper wet before you did it. If you didn't, you're probably gonna have a bunch of little bubbles and bumps under your paper. But as you can see, it's completely flat and perfect. And that's it. Oh, that's it. That is how you make, well, that's how you Mod Podge paper onto wood. But this is also how you make stuff from Target even more cute. But that's it. That's all I had for you guys. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. Definitely not a thumbs down because I'm too cool for that. But yay. Bye guys.